Ah, strange things are gonna happen pretty soon. Oh. That sound. Yeah, what was that sound? Well, hello gamers, I'm Mertwari, and today it's time to continue our scary adventures in Through the Woods. And last time we played, we got up here, and uh, I think it's time to venture a little bit further. Meanwhile, apparently there have been uh, some updates to the game, and uh, one of the updates was uh, some additional graphical settings you can uh, change. And there should... Ooh, Murray hanged people. There should also be some uh, keyboard rebindings and other things, and we also got some achievement and trading cards in the game. So it's a good opportunity to revisit the game. Not only will you maybe be able to find uh, the seven carved faces in the trees, but you should also be able to get some achievement and trading cards. And some people really, really like the trading cards. Oh, another note. Eric told us tonight of the pact and the war long ago. It is said you could hear the terror of the Ragnarok all around, even as our people were brought there to safety. The earth shook, huge structures of Asgard fell from the sky over by the mountain we now called Varkfjeld. Fenrir killed Odin, laid waste to nearly all the worlds. Only we on Hodimis hold remained, led here by Odin's son Vidar. Okay, you see a lot of Norse uh, mythology in there. Asgard, I think that was uh, the heavens for the Norse people. Uh, Ragnarok, oh, it, it, maybe it's the devil. It, it rings a bell to me. Odin was the god. Fenrir, if I'm correct, was some kind of a wolf. I would have to check that because I'm not quite sure. Since uh, I'm not Norwegian myself. So, But yeah, there has been a war between uh, Odin and Fenrir. And yeah... Not quite sure what it has to do with the story, though. But maybe that's something we will be discovering pretty soon. Oh! Ooh, that was strange. I never had that before. I know I had some... Uh, ooh! Some graphical glitches in the past. I hope that won't uh, happen all too much, because it could really... Well, ruin the game, actually. Can I get up the roof? No, I can't. Also, if my voice sounds a bit strange today, that's because, uh, well, I'm I'm feeling a bit under the weather. I have, uh, yeah, a cold, a sore throat. The dead lay restlessly there, forgotten by everyone. When my father died, we buried him. And we mourned him. I told Espen he was in a better place and to remember his grandfather as he was before he got sick. Who was mourning these people? Where were they remembered fondly? It seemed like the people on the island had been fighting to hold on for so long, then just let go. But I wasn't ready to let go. I wasn't ready to let Espen become a memory. Yeah, well, uh, as I was saying, if my voice sounds a little bit strange, it's uh, it ha doesn't have anything to do with that last drink at the family party. But this time I'm uh, I have a little bit of a cold and a sore throat. But I decided to go ahead and record something anyway. So excuse me if I sound a little bit strange or a little bit snotty. Mm. More houses. I should keep an eye out for uh, some of those uh, small pathways because apparently I have found one of the seven carvings. So there should be six more. Maybe yeah, I'm quite sure I missed a few in the, in the beginning of the game. But oh, this one, the hanged Viking. I wonder. Uh, you can't push it. Another note on the table. Ooh, what's this time? The brothers are trapped. Part 1. The day was met with success. The elders finally decreed the walks must be stopped and 
Isle, we got the pastor trapped up in the ravine. We sent a few young men to do the tunnels as scouts with orders to return when they found where the whelps were sculling, skulking. A group of us snuck through the tunnels up into the ravine with dead goats and buckets of offal and the bloody mess was strewn upon the ground in a dark corner of the pass. Stupid creatures were stirred by the scent of blood and came sniffing into the ravine. I'd never seen them here today and was afeard at the size of them. Giants they were, tall as a man, though thin and sick looking. There were markings on both that seemed to glow in the darkness as they came from the tunnel. Mm. <coughs> More clues. Now, if you want to know uh, about your clues, you should find those in the main menu by pressing escape under collections. You should see that uh, I have gotten some notes. I'm missing three notes. Villager Tales. Ah, apparently I'm, I'm missing quite a few there. The Herd. Yeah, missing a few. Eggstel, missing a lot. And here I have nothing at all. Items. Oh yeah, I'm still missing a few items too. I'm missing quite a lot, lot actually. I did find all the reflectors, so that's good. Oh yeah, they did indeed change a lot uh, for the graphic settings. But I wasn't here for uh, checking the graphic settings. It's time to continue our travels and uh, have a look around what we can find in this little village. Maybe we can find another clue in one of the houses. Mm. Oh yeah, this leads to another big area. Let's check that path first. Maybe it will lead to something hidden in the ravine. Uh, oh. Oh, I thought I had seen something. Uh, I don't think this is a good idea. More of those Norse pillars with uh, Norse decorations. Ooh, what's this? A horn. A ram's horn, okay. That's uh, another collectible. Ooh. Uh huh. Now I'm wondering if I should continue down that path or just head back to the top. Ooh, ooh. Number two. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't show these in the videos because other people might have found a few more and, and they would get uh, the competition before I do, but hey. I'm not here to win the competition. I'm here to play the game and have fun. If I could win a, a graphics card, that would be awesome. Because I'm, I am thinking about building a, a gaming PC. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but uh, I don't really have a, a gaming PC myself. I play this on, on my Mac Pro. And I booted that into Windows mode using Bootcamp and I'm playing on that. So it's not really a true gaming machine at all. Graphics are, are pretty much okay for uh, the average game, but uh, yeah, the big graphic uh, intensive games, well, they look a little bit messy on my machine. So a new, uh, a new gaming setup would be nice, but I will have to do that in the future. Time to get back. Can I walk up that way? No. So this time I will have to walk through the little village. Mm -hmm. There are more houses, more doors. Yeah, maybe I can open this one. No, I can't. Ah, that's strange. The path is heading that way too, but I noticed a little area here. Yep, there is a door here. Maybe I will be able to enter this way. Yes. Another book. 
The Brothers Are Trapped Part 2. They were whispering to one another too. I'm sure of it. Once they were at the far end and busy eating their fill, we ran through the ravine behind them and closed all the doors from the inside, trapping them. How they roamed when they fi figured what we've done. The door nearest myself shook as the brothers rammed them, but to no avail. The doors were built to withstand beasts stronger than them. Now the doors are sealed. Travel twixt villages will be nigh impossible as all manner of ungodly creatures plague the trails. But the brothers are now forever confined. A grand day on the isle for the first time in long memory. I probably sound pretty strange reading these messages but uh, I do my best since English isn't my native tongue as they say. So I might have a, a funny little accent. I know, I know I have. Okay, we've seen this. Is there anything else? Yeah, that's the the little hole in the... Um. Yeah, she did exactly the same thing as I did. She has a cold too, I think. Travel back up through the little gate and continue in this direction. Hmm, this isn't open. No, it isn't. Cannot open it or no? Nothing I can do. Well, I would have thought that there would be would be something secret up there, but since I can't pass, then I should walk that way. Yeah, I promised myself I wouldn't tell anything anymore about how good I uh, think the sounds in this game is and the atmosphere in this game is, but still, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. But that's all I will say about that for today. I've been telling it a few times already that this game looks just uh, pretty darn good and the atmosphere is very well done. I hear the wind blow. Ooh, oh, it scared me. Well, it is not a safe, po safe point, so uh, I think I will be continuing. It would be a little bit of a short episode if I would wrap up everything here. So I'm going to have a look around. Maybe I will be able to find something else in the area. And if not, then... Uh, I'm hoping I will be reaching a safe point pretty soon. Another one. Would that be the ravine they are talking about? Possibly. Yeah, the music is getting scarier, so I think Ah, strange things are gonna happen pretty soon. Oh, that sound. yeah, what was that sound? Oh, I, I, oh, I have to be careful now. Let's look around. I see a little lamp in here, so this looks like another little cave yes it is oh listen to the music oh that music sounded quite funny actually not something something you would expect from a, a horror scene most of the time, that does predict anything good, though. So better be careful and, and have a look around. OK. 
okay, I can't go that way. I can cross this way. But I could have crossed the bridge too, so I'm wondering if I'm heading in the right direction. Oh, not a big rune. This time it looks like a big snake. It looks dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it does look dangerous indeed. Uh, yet the path continues. Oh, but I'm afraid something is in the ravine. The message is told something about two brothers locked in the ravine, so... Uh. I cannot get up here. No. Oh. I heard something again. Oh, half of the times I think I hear something and, and it's my own footsteps or something like that. Uh... Well, I did get here, so... Let's have a look down. Look, see? I came from that direction, I think. So I could have gone uh, that way and discovered this little house. Oh, no, I'm not quite sure anymore. Yeah, I did came from there. I came from the tree and... Yes, I should have seen that. Well, if I want to discover everything, I will have to go back and check... Uh, take, check that path too, since uh, there might be a clue up there or, or, or some. I heard that uh, growling sound again. Now comes the tough choice, continue or go back and check that path too. So I'm I'm the explorer type of guy. I want to have seen everything I could see. So I will be checking that path as well. It will probably get me killed, but at least I will know that I didn't miss anything. The little house. Uh-huh. Nothing in here? Really? Oh yeah, there is another book. Another story. The bird villager tales. The poor creature I knows of him from the tales. Oh, that's... Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that. that. Sarin, driven mad by being roasted and eaten every night by the hungry warriors of Valhalla. His escape seems a very dark omen. What do the fallen feast upon now? So to creep him in the night to see if the legends say true. The beast being fast asleep, I took my knife to him and lovely bloody meat fell away. Needs to be ate steaming raw as waiting too long turns the flesh to bark. The taste is better than me. You, the taste is better than usual fare though. Difficult to pass the following morning. Might offer to share with little, uh, li might offer to share a little with Eric when next his road runs this way. The gods know his life has long been a hard one since the bargain was struck. A poor creature is he as well. Okay, that's a, it's, it's another little clue. Another thing to add to the collection of collectibles. A collection of collectibles. No, that's yeah. You heard that first here. A collection of collectibles. Uh, that ravine. Luckily, I can't seem to go in. Probably that's. Oh, oh crap! Oh, the thi oh that scared the heck out of me. Uh. What 
what is it? It was the, the big burr, right? Yeah, it is. Well, it surely did scare the heck out of me. But it's a strange thing. Look. It's a boar and it has... Yeah, it, it its tusks look like arms. Oh, that was stupid indeed. Yeah, well, I had to try it out. I had to. I just had to. So if I'm correct, there are most of the times two ways through the whole... What's that sound? Yeah, that's the bird already. We, we know that. Yep, that's the bird. So I won't be able to sneak past it, I think. Oh yeah, I can. Good, 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 good. Uh, actually, could I sneak past it? I will try that. I will try to approach it the sneaky way and try to get past it. And if it doesn't work, then I can always take the safe path. Or maybe that's even the whole trick. Learn it my way. Let's see if I can sneak up to it. Oh no, it doesn't work. Oh, quickly get into the little cave. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, I don't think it can catch me up here. So that's the trick, actually. I just discovered the solution before I encountered the creature. Okay. Looks dangerous. Yes, we already know that. Run, 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 run. And go pick up. Oh, it, it does know I'm here, look. Well, I got past it, so I don't think it can catch me now. I probably shouldn't even try to go back since I already have the little text. Yeah, I can still have a look. I'm too curious not to. Yeah, so the, the boar is up the rock. I don't think it can touch me from here. I'm gonna have a quick look inside, but I think I already took the, the letter, so... Yeah. Oh no, it is still there. And now I can continue to travel and head back and cross the other bridge. Oh, it's moving. Yep, time to cross this bridge as well. So we did survive the boar encounter, that's uh, a good thing. Now, uh, I wonder what they will be throwing at... Ooh, look, another big door. And it looks like there is some movement. But I don't think I can get down. Ooh, maybe that's the area where we were earlier. That's probably it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I have seen... When I recorded a few episodes ago, I had seen some bridges up top, so that's probably where we are. Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's a path. Is there something up here? Nothing up here. Okay. 
very strong winds and very scary music now. Oh, this doesn't sound good. This doesn't sound good at all. Oh, look. Oh, heck, I didn't see it even. It's like a big creature with... It's an eye. Um, okay. Question is... Is it friendly or... Look, it's like a big head. Or maybe that's one of the brothers they mentioned. Maybe. What would happen if I get close? I know, too curious. Always too curious. You should probably never get close to the, <laughs> a big head with an eye. Never. But hey, you have to try at some point. No, I can't get in there. Ooh, oh, the... Save point? Yeah, probably a save point. Well, I think we did our part of adventuring for today and this is the perfect opportunity to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button and if you have comments or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video as well. And if you'd rather get in touch with me personally, that's also possible through Facebook, Twitter, AskFM and all the social media channels. And you will find links to all those in the description of the video as well. Of course, as usual, you can always hit the subscribe button. Not only do you help me out that way, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. Well, I guess that will wrap up today's episode. Until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.